Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you one of the best fish and chip shops in Manchester. This place was voted top five in the MEN newspaper. And it's a little bit of a hidden gem that you have to see. So without further ado, I'm very hungry. Let's make our way there now. Right, I think I'm almost here. Let me find a place to park and show this place off to you guys. I think we'll um, just go right in front, why not? There's a few things I've been told I must try. Uh, like Irish curry sauce. Let's uh, have a look inside and order. Okay, back in the car and I am very, very excited for this one. I've got a big bag of hopefully good food. Had a look at the entire menu, tried to get the best items on there. And uh, they also have daily specials, but I didn't get any of those today. I think I'll just do items one by one because we're in a car, so I can't really open everything up together and make a big spread. But uh, let's just crack straight on with it, guys, because I'm very hungry. So what we're gonna do guys, we're just gonna show you what we're working with. So we've got a large piece of cod. I, I tend to prefer haddock, but I think I'm the strange one. Everyone prefers cod. So large piece of cod on a bed of chips. Visually, I think that looks cracking. Looks really good. I cannot wait to just break into this piece of fish, try these chips. And I'm gonna try it with some Irish curry sauce. Apparently, this is a must try if you're coming here. It's a must, must try. Chap behind the counter. A uh, really friendly guy said, I need to try this. So I thought, why not? I hope it's nice. I think it cost me a pound. Everything I'm going to show you in this video costs just over 12 pounds in total. If you look at it, guys, it looks good. I like the little specks of seasoning you can, you can see inside. It smells amazing. It smells like actual curry rather than like a curry sauce you'd get from like a chippy. It smells like actual curry, you know, Indian curry. I'm not sure how it relates to Irish. But it smells amazing. What we're gonna do, so we're gonna just, oh, <laughs> that fish, that looks so good. The batter looks fantastic. Let's just try a little bit of fish on its own and then try a chip and then actually try the curry sauce. Have to say this batter, if you can hear that, hopefully it's got a good crunch to it. Oh, oh. Beautiful, crispy batter with a lovely, lovely flavor. Fish is flaky. It's got a light taste to it. I know it's obviously a deep fried piece of fish, but actually manages to taste quite light. I could eat this entire thing twice over. Honestly, this fish is absolutely lovely, but the batter, the crispness on that is unbelievable. But as you bite into it, the fish is actually quite soft. So you've got crispness and softness. The fish is getting a hay. Man, that's one of the best pieces of fish you will find anywhere in Manchester. Let's move on to the chips. Let's try these. Really, really nice accompaniment to the fish. Really soft chips. I love the salt and vinegar on them. They go really, really well. Really moorish. Again, it's quite strange because they actually taste quite light. As light as a fried potato could be, I guess, right? But really good accompaniment to the fish. I think the fish for me is the star. I'm enjoying the chips. I think they're super tasty. A little bit crispy on the outside, I think will be perfect. But honestly, this is a box. Absolutely fantastic. And I will definitely be getting that again. We've got other food to eat. Oh, I'm going to try something that I've never, ever, ever had before. So that's a bit interesting. But uh, this is a, a box I would heavily recommend but let's try the irish curry the guy said i have to try this the guy there said it's one of the things that they're famous for so let's give it a go that literally tastes like if you get chip shop curry like a typical chip shop curry and you add a little bit of like some indian curry in there it kind of tastes like that it genuinely tastes like that which is nice refreshing a little bit different i think generally with this kind of meal i'll stick with gravy mushy peas and a Chinese curry but that is good and different okay so we're gonna try something that I've never tried before I've always wanted to try this literally exactly how it sounds a sausage that's been battered let's give this a go guys I've always wanted to try this you know it's just one of those things it's quite hard to find it's hard to find halal and everything in that place is halal so the entire menu is halal so you can try it there's no beer batter there's no pork that kind of stuff you know so everything on that menu is halal it looks pretty chunky so i'm definitely impressed like visually with the size and there's some other stuff on the menu that i feel like i should have got like there's a potato scallop so it's literally I think, a potato sliced and battered it's like 60p fish cakes which i love which i did try i got some of the stuff here but there's stuff that i've missed out so i think i'm definitely going to go back so far highly impressed but yeah let's uh try this Ooh. I just broke it in half because I kind of wanted to see the inside of it. 
kind of tastes exactly how I expected it would taste. What I would say is I do think it's a little bit of a shame that this batter isn't as crispy as the fish and chips. If it was, then this would be absolutely amazing. As it is, still really tasty. And again, you know, these are fine margins because the barometer of whether something is good for you is would you buy it again? So I would pay money for this again. I'd have it on the side of my chips, but that cod was just unbelievable. I absolutely am in love with that. What I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna dip this sausage into some Chinese curry sauce. So a little bit more traditional for a chippy, as traditional as a Chinese curry can be in a British chippy. You guys know what I mean, they're everywhere. This is just a great addition to the chippy scene, is curry, great addition. I do prefer the regular curry. I'll be honest, I think this is nicer than the Irish curry. But that was more because, I don't know, for me it was just a little bit of a clash because when I think fish and chips, I think gravy, I think mushy peas, I think curry. I don't think that kind of curry, so it was a bit strange for me, but maybe I need to have it one or more two times. I don't know. This, however, delicious. But if you can hear, guys, I've got a little bit of a cough. And it's not the big C thing that I can't say on YouTube because otherwise YouTube doesn't like it. I've done a test done multiple tests it's not that i think i've just got a little bit of an itchy cough so moving on what is this so we've got a couple of more things here to try, but I, again i really wish i got fish cakes and the scallops i really wish i did that you know because uh, they're things that i really enjoy so i think i've messed up a little bit there but i can always come back guys i can always come back so the last two things i have to show you are the mushy peas and then we've got gravy as well. But look how vibrant this looks, guys. I love the mushy peas. I love that texture, really. They're not too smooth. You can actually still see the peas in there. They've got a little bit of a bite to them. Really nice. Really, really good. I think they go with chippy chips really well. A traditional combination for a reason. It works. So moving on to another classic combination, which is chips and gravy. Ah. Oh. The gravy is rich and deep. You can tell they really reduced it down, you know, to just condense as much flavor as you can get into this little tub right here. And all the sauces, the mushy peas, they're all a pound each. That These are smalls. So I think gravy-wise, that's more than enough, but that's a small. You can get a large for, I believe, pound thirty. Something to note, actually, on the specials, you can get a small fish, chips and peas for a fiver. That's an everyday special. That's really good. I think five pounds these days for piece of fried cod you know chips uh, peas i think it's really really good they do puddings they got sausage chips and peas for a fiver some of these are really good and they've got kids deals as well if you guys want me to i'll get the article which ranked the top 10 fish and chip shop places in the men and i'll actually go to every single one of them to find out if that list is accurate my thoughts here so far this made i think fourth out of that list if this is only fourth, I wonder what three, two, and one are because this was absolutely delicious. If you guys want to see my favorite fish and chip franchise, make sure you check this video out here, guys. This one's not to be missed. It will definitely surprise you. And on this side, we have a playlist for the Manchester area. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. But I'll see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.